How's it going everyone? I'm Chris. And I'm Jasmine. And we're Sweet Simple Vegan. <laughs> we are back today for another taste test, another vegan taste test. And today is all about vegan burgers because there are so many on the market. I feel like it's definitely a go-to product in terms of something we always have in stock in our household. Oh yeah. And people always ask us for recommendations, so I thought it'd be really helpful and interesting if we did a full taste test on vegan burgers. So since there are so many burgers on the market, we, so many. we wanted to kind of narrow things down and make this a little more accessible. So we asked our audiences what their favorite veggie burgers were and we tried the top eight. Eight? eight? I eight, think it's seven, eight. Seven yeah. or eight. Yeah, you'll see in this video, but there are so many veggie burgers on the market. I've I tried like so many just new ones all the time. Yeah, and like there's even so many recipes that you can make at home, which is actually really easy if that is like something you want to do too. Um, but all of the options we're trying today are store bought, just for accessibility, and I feel like it's a little more enjoyable if like you guys can go out and get it. Um, I mean, if you want to make a veggie burger recipe, we'll totally. link some down below. Yeah, we have a bunch on our blog, but. So this taste test, um, it's us and all of our friends doing it. I think there's there's four sets, eight people in it. And we asked everyone if they would prefer us to just serve the burger or serve it like, like done up as they would enjoy it as a burger. And a majority said to dress it up. So we dressed up every single burger in the same exact way with the same toppings, same, I think same order even. So it makes things very fair. Yeah, so we wanted to be consistent and um, I think it was helpful because if I just ate the straight up burger, I would be like, oh, I like this, but I wanna try it as a burger. So I think this right. was a good way to like get the full experience, get the full review for you guys to try. All of the brands that we taste in this video will be linked down below if you wanna check them out. Yeah. And before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. We hit post videos every Wednesday and every Friday. Hit that bell for post notifications if you want to know when our new videos go live. And uh, I guess let's get into this. Let's do it. What's good, guys? I am September Mondays, and I am a vegan by association. Hi, I'm Kat, <laughs> and I'm a flexitarian. You're spirit on the board. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Monica. Um, I've been vegan for six years and... <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. I've been a meat popsicle for 29 years. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm a vegetarian. What is it? Two? No, more like four. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin and I've been vegan, I don't know, for a couple years now. Hi, I'm Dylan. I've been vegan for like eight months and I've only tried like one vegan burger outside of like bean burgers before. So, we to test it out. <laughs> I'm Chris, as you probably know. Um, <laughs> I've been vegan for, or I haven't eaten meat in 10 years, 11 years, and I've been vegan for about six. All right, I'm Jasmine. I have been vegan for seven years. And that's the extent of it. <laughs> so... It does look pretty veggie. There is a lot of greens in here. Yes, there's a lot of green stuff in it. Veggie burger. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a camouflage burger. Um, yeah, it looks like veggies. It's look like, it looks like I'm about to eat veggies. <laughs> I feel like color-wise, it's like a little interesting. Like you can definitely tell it's just veggies. Mm -hmm. So this is clearly a veggie burger. Oh yeah. And it's like a little crumbly. It's already falling apart. Is that like quinoa? Is it a quinoa base? It looks like quinoa or couscous or something. It smells good. It smells like Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try the patty on its own. So let's start with like a table. I messed it up. That's all good. Mm. I'll pick up the crumbs after. It does taste fishy. Right? Yeah, but it tastes really good. Oh, it's really good. I can taste herbs. The consistency reminds me of a, um, uh, I don't know why I want to say Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> um, crab cakes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, it's like flaky ready. and bready and grainy. Yes. But it's really good. It I'm tastes sorry. very fresh. It does taste pretty fresh. I'm like, gonna um, try just the patty. Doesn't really have like a burger consistency. It's almost kind of like fluffy. To me, it, it tastes like like couscous or millet or something mm -hmm. with like parsley. Yeah. 
But I mean, I like it. But I don't know if I would consider it a burger. Like, I'd probably put it on top of a salad or yeah, something. Yeah, I wouldn't really, like, say it's, you know. What are those black, like, mm. these things in it? Is that herbs? Looks like herbs. Hmm. That's really tasty. I like it. It's clearly a veggie burger. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing. Yeah, if you're craving a veggie burger, this is a good veggie burger. Usually when you put green stuff in your mouth, you second guess it because it's green. I don't know, I second guess green all the time because I hate the color. But it's a it's strong really word. good. But it does taste, it has a fishy taste oh to me. Oh my God, it's falling apart. I don't think I get this one. Work? Mm -mm. Wow, why is that? I would get it again. It's too fishy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, they're really good. I would, if I wanted just like a regular <laughs> veggie burger that isn't imitating meat, I would totally eat it again. I would buy it again, really... but not, like if I wanted to grill burgers with friends or something, I wouldn't buy this, but if I wanted like a fresh and tasty dinner yeah, it's or like, something, that's what I would like, buy it almost tastes like, kind of like a spongy bread almost. <laughs> it is a little spongy, it is a little spongy. <laughs> yeah. But the flavor's overall pretty good. Yeah. Taste wise, I, I think it's really well seasoned and I like the flavor of it. I would definitely eat these. Mm -hmm. I would the definitely time. get this again. This does look like a chicken, like a chicken patty. Yeah. Did you even look at it? Yeah, look, look. It looks like, it doesn't look like a chicken patty, but it looks like. You like cute? Mm hmm. Like quinoa. Like in the beginning. Yeah. With instead of C, it's Q. Um, this definitely looks like quinoa and it looks like I'm eating bread in between bread. <laughs> what do you think it looks like? I don't want to be influenced by your uh, <laughs> description of it. I believe it doesn't look like quinoa. What's There's looks literally like quinoa coming out of it. <laughs> Crunch. I can definitely see the quinoa. Yeah, I can definitely see it too. It looks like there are less like veggies in this one. It looks more kind of like quinoa. Clearly quinoa. Yeah, there's, hey, 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 very stop. Here, it's falling apart. Like it stays together on the outside, but then the inside, the pieces of quinoa are falling out. I don't know. It's a little dry to me, but the flavor is good. Mm-hmm. It tastes like, not a toaster strudel, but what's that other thing that you eat for breakfast in the mornings? Waffle? No. Falafel? No. Mm. Like a sausage? No. Hash brown? Ding, this looks like a hash brown. There we go. This looks exactly like a house brown. Mm. Ooh. Mm. It reminds me of like um, something breaded from uh, Burger King. Yeah, it's very crunchy, which I like, and it tastes breaded. Um, and it has a really nice, like, strong flavor. I don't know if it's onion, but it works really, really well. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. It reminds me of like... It almost seems like a like faux chicken patty more than a faux. burger. What's faux? You never see and tastes the quinoa and it has like that, I don't know, it has that texture. I don't feel like it tastes much like a burger at all though. Mm, I don't like it. It yeah. kind of just tastes like, it's kind of like dry and chalky. Yeah, it is kind of dry. And it's like, just literally quinoa mushed into a circle. Like I can just see the quinoa and like millet or something. Yeah, it's like pressed and fried quinoa. It lacks flavor to me, I think. And it's like, mm. it's basically just like, Crunchy quinoa. Yeah, it's just like quinoa was like morphed into yeah, a patty. Yeah, look. It's, <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's anything else in it but quinoa and flavors. But I would buy it again just because you it You like that one? one? Yeah, of course. It's a little dry for me. Uh-uh. I like this one, but I wouldn't buy it again. Just a little dry. Not not real. Oh, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> F A U D F. <laughs> what? Like a faux hawk? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make no sense. All right. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I don't think I'll buy it again. Definitely wouldn't. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but it's kind of like a chicken, like a chicken burger, or like you know, like a fried chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like that's what the patty kind of reminds me of on the outside. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. No. I don't think I would. Uh, I wouldn't get this again. No. Look at all the green. Your favorite. Oh yeah, green it. You know, in some cases it's okay to eat your own throw up, and I think this would be <laughs> one of them. 
so. Oh my god, you're so I would try. embarrassing. <laughs> okay. What's the name of this one? Dr. Prager's. Dr. Prager's. Dr. what? Dr. Prager's. Oh, this one's green too. It's like pregnant It's burger. very veggie burgery. <laughs> this is not Prager's. This burger's so Prager's. There's like peas in there. You can see the, you can see the veggies. <laughs> peas. How do you feel about it? This one, like you can see more veggies in it. Yeah. I like it's like good. colorful and fresh. And it, it looks, looks more like There's dense. like avocados in there. I think it's edamame. Oh, edamame, okay. Very green. Yeah, you could clearly see carrots and probably soybeans, right? I wanna look at it. It is very textured. Soybeans oh wow, are there's edamame, like straight right? up pieces of corn in there. Corn. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm, yeah, I like this one. But I've also you really like this one because I buy this one often. <laughs> really? Yeah. Cool, you can buy it more often for us, please and thank you. Uh -huh. Just one taste. Pretty good. I like this one better than the other one before. It's definitely more flavorful than the last one, I would say. Really? Yeah. You don't think so? I taste the peas. <laughs> I definitely taste the peas. <laughs> it's the same thing as last time. It's good. I feel like it's like, the other one was more like herby, like one note. This one has a bunch of different veggies in it. Like when mm -hmm. I was a kid, I was raised vegetarian, so we would go to like cookouts and stuff. And this tastes like the veggie burger that everyone would serve me if they did have a vegetarian or vegan option. I feel like the consistency of like the actual burger part is better than the last one, but yeah. this one has like, you know, veggies inside of it. So it's not like very like realistic in terms of a burger, but it's like, it's good for what it is. Compared to the other, I mean, they're both clearly veggie burgers. You're not gonna fool anyone thinking this is meat. But I, I think it's flavorful. This one's not as crumbly. No. Yeah, a little bit softer. The other one had a little more of a crunch. This has like a, like you can clearly tell there's mixed veggies in it. Mm -hmm. Like peas, carrots. It corn. feels healthier. Mm -hmm. This one tastes more homemade than the other one, yeah. for sure. Dr. Prager's for a win. Mm -hmm. All right, we like this one. Mm. We'd buy this again. I mean, I've gotten this one before, so I'd definitely get it again. <laughs> oh, that's not right. I'm a fan. Would you get it again? No. <laughs> I think it's fine, but I don't think I would buy it again because personally it kind of reminds me of just like a frozen bag of mixed vegetables like mushed into a burger. Yeah. And I feel like I could make something better. Yeah, we could we could make something like that. So probably wouldn't buy it again, but not bad. I'm not throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy it again, I'd eat it. I'd buy it again, but I think I'd buy you know, we'll come we're at the end we're gonna say our favorite ones. My dad used to get the Asian style. Veggie burgers, I think that's what they're oh, called. Oh, Dr. Prager's has yeah. that? Mm -hmm. This tastes like Asian style to me for some reason, but I think it's just the mixed veggies and the fact that we just had fried rice a couple days ago. Um, it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I wish Monica was my partner. <laughs> Oh yeah, we did the last two. We did the last two with like, different people. Yeah. But I have you. Please. Uh, okay, are you ready to try this one? Oh god. Take this one's supposed to be like more meaty. Okay. Finally, some meat. N no, bro. <laughs> there we go. Okay, look at. Oh. This reminds me. This looks like a McDonald's patty. You know how like it's been sitting in the heat thing for too long. Yeah, the longer the better. Gardein. What makes it a, a meat patty now <laughs> instead of a like a veggie patty? Um, because it's imitating the like texture and look of meat. So it's faux. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, so Gardein. I really like a lot of things that Gardein does, but I've never had this, so I'm excited to try it. But it also definitely looks like a soy patty that I would have, would be the only option when I went vegetarian like 13 years ago. <laughs> you ever had where your table is like off and you need to put a wedge? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a wedge and it's like too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks more like, I feel like a classic veggie burger, like that brown, like more dense texture to it and I can't really see any grains or vegetables in it. Yeah, it looks dense, pretty thin, but like dense. It smells like, um, 
I used to eat these like Morningstar Farms veggie burgers yeah. growing up when I was vegetarian. But they, I think they have egg whites in them, the ones I ate. It smells like that. Kind of smells like a breakfast sausage. I don't I think I've ever tried this one. So this one comes frozen and it looks really perfect. Like it's just like a smooth brown patty. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It doesn't look like it has any texture. It's yeah, like, like they, cake. yeah, they like blended everything together and made like a paste and made a burger. Ooh, this is my favorite. Really? This is my favorite. I know I said that about the last one, <laughs> but like tastes change over time and you grow into new things. Wow. This has like a jerk smoky taste to it. You would like that, mm -hmm. you little Caribbean boy. Mm, this is amazing. Oh. No, it does. It does taste like this has been on the grill. Mm hmm. The texture is good. A little chewy, but like good. I don't know. And I think it tastes like it's been on a grill, which is cool. But it does take, taste like one of those soy patties that I had when I was like 18 and just went vegetarian, which is kind of nostalgic for me and I like. It definitely tastes like it's been cooked on a charcoal grill. Yeah. You know, good old charcoal. It tastes very similar to that too. Mm -hmm. It has like, yeah. It tastes like that classic veggie mock meat burger. Like, I think there are other brands like Morningstar Farms or Boca Burgers. It has that like kind of grilled taste and texture to it. Yeah, it does kind of taste like a Boca Burger. It tastes like, this is like straight off oh, the Oh wow, grill. weird. It tastes like a barbecue. Mm-hmm. That's a little too much for me. Mm-hmm. I enjoy the barbecue taste, but not to this extent. Like I feel like- It's overpowering. Yeah, it's like gassy a little. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, like propane. Like I kind of feel weird about it. <laughs> Not in a bad way, I guess. Like if you like. It's, it's like propane and edible <laughs> kind of way. So what, you gonna buy this one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The texture on this one isn't they can bad. Take money. It kind of like reminds me like a mix of like a bean burger and a soy patty. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, I don't know. Have you had a bean burger? I have no idea. I just put things in my mouth. All right, well. <laughs> we would buy this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say it's like nostalgic for me, so I like it. Um, but I would buy it again. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> it's good. It is good. I, I think it's tasty. And yeah, I would agree. You know, it's like grilled, grilled on a grill. Cool. Yeah. Personally, I really like it because it reminds me of my childhood because I grew up like eating these. So I would buy it again. I, I feel, feel like, go ahead. Sorry. I feel okay about it. It doesn't, I don't know. You can tell it's, you can definitely tell it's a veggie, veggie burger, yeah, but yeah. it's a, uh, it's pretty good. You wouldn't fool a meat eater. Yeah, definitely not. But I think but, it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. It's satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate it's it, but- It's definitely not my favorite. I wouldn't get this again. Like I would pick something else over this one for sure. What about you? Mm -hmm. Texture wise though, I think it has really good texture. I'd eat it again, I wouldn't buy it again. Quarter pounder. Huh. Well, this one actually looks like a real meat patty. There's a lot of vegetables in that too. Um, you got the bigger piece. Yeah, sure. You know Does, what they say about big patties? What? Bigger patty. Oh, dude, send them home. Quarter. Quarter pounder. Like a quarter pounder with cheese, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one's like, me it looks meatier, but it still has like a veggie vibe in there. I can see like carrots and things like that. It's like there's uh, rice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so judgmental. Let's do it. And quinoa, I think. I've tried their other products, but I've never, yeah, I've never tried, tried their burgers, I don't think. I feel like I can see some mm. grains in here, but it looks like more brownish like a burger. Amy's, we've never had these. No, so this is the quarter pounder, which I mean, Ooh, it cool. smells like chili. Cool that they got that name. It smells like Amy's chili. <laughs> oh, weird, it does. That's like a chili, it smells like a chili cheeseburger. Like everything together. It has good texture to it, I like. It looks like a rice and bean burger like that you would make at home. Totally. I don't like this one. <laughs> it's just, there's too much happening in my mouth. <laughs> That's a nothing. It's all right. No, it's not. It's, it's not right. good. It's not as bad as they say it is. No. See, when you love to eat, you eat anything. But that's Let's not die. the point of this, no. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> oh. 
the texture is good. I think it like it's not very flavorful to me. This what? <laughs> Uh, it tastes uh, kind of like chicken. Huh. Tastes kind of like chicken um, and something else. Almost like a teriyaki chicken or something. Hmm. I don't know what like... There's some sort of like Italian seasoning yeah, in it say, or there's, something? Yeah, let's say there's like this flavor. Yeah, try it again. It kind of has like a grilled, a grilled flavor to it, but there's definitely a lot of like fresh herbs and veggies in it too. It kind of reminds me of pizza. Like a pizza burger for some reason. Kind I don't know of, why. I don't know. I'm trying to put my finger on it. I think it's like it, an Italian, like, like there's, oregano or something. You can definitely taste all the seasonings in it. That's for sure. Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, a chili burger. Yeah. Mmm. It, it tastes like chili. Like there's definitely a spice in here that's like very prominent. I feel like they took their canned chili, drained it. <laughs> Mixed it with rice. Yeah, and then and baked Gen it. That's genius. If I they did that, genius. I think that's what they might have done. It's pretty good. I give it a, I give it a three out of ten. That's really good for this one. Okay. Three out of ten is not good. Mm-hmm. Would I buy it again? I feel like I had a party of salsa and then like habanero and there's then like someone used taco seasoning and threw it in there. I don't like it. It actually sounds pretty good. I wouldn't buy this again. No. Nah. <laughs> Lots of flavor. Lots. Almost too much. <laughs> too much flavor. I think um, it overloaded your taste buds. I wouldn't buy this again. <laughs> Just to piss her off, I'd buy this again. <laughs> I would be fine if I like brought this to a cookout with friends and they're cooking regular burgers or something. I feel like it's satisfying enough where it's like you get like the bite and the chew. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Yeah. I think the, I think I would buy it again, like based on the price and availability near me. Yeah. Agreed. It's definitely like consistency and texture. It's the best one that we've tried so far. Yeah. I think it tastes like veggies, but like I think it's satisfying. Yeah. I like it. I feel like it doesn't taste like a burger to me. No, it definitely doesn't taste like a burger. I like the texture. The appearance is cool. Uh, I would. Uh, Again, I'd eat it, I'd eat it but I, I wouldn't would, buy yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. So Tom and I, are t we're together now. Yeah, our partners were lame, the audience voted. All right, let's be real. <laughs> we're the better couple here, okay? Obviously. This is why we had to switch, cause, come on. <laughs> nice. Oh, this one looks like the other one. Oh, this one's nice and sturdy and meaty, as a burger should be. You know what I mean? I immediately regret the partner switching thing. <laughs> you love it. Don't, don't go there. Uh, it looks good. Uh, it definitely does, for me, looks the uh, meatiest. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of, uh, even has grill marks on the side. That's nice. I like that aesthetically. Well, and we're a fan of field roast. We in, are in, in, in our life. house. Yeah. By the way, we're the ones who cook at home, so. <laughs> This does look like meat though. Um, there's definitely grill marks and... There's like a pocket of veggies in here. Do you see that? It's um, like... I don't know, that just looks like beef to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, let's do this. Here we go. Okay. This one looks like... It definitely looks meatier. It looks pretty dense and meaty, I'd say. It has like a nice color. When you look at the actual burger, I can see more veggies yeah, in it. Yeah, you can see them kind of scattered in, but... The cross it section. Pretty, it looks pretty meaty yeah. from like the side. And... Appearance alone, it's way different than the veggie burgers. You could tell this is like a meat. Yeah, meat it looks patty. like it's, yeah, meat, meaty. It looks very seitan y, right? Mm -hmm. We made seitan the other day. It looked mm. just like this. It's pretty good. I like the grill part of it too. And yeah, try this at home, kids. It's good. You have a lot of deep thoughts about this one. I think I've had this one before. I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> it's some kind of meat, but I don't know. So it's kind of weird me out. It has that grilled taste too. Yeah. The texture's good. It tastes like meat. It does. Yeah. This tastes like something that I would get from like, probably like Burger King or even McDonald's. Yeah. Mm, I actually like that one. Again, there's like some sort of herb seasoning in it that tastes good, but like a burger wouldn't taste mm -hmm. like that. But. I feel like, yeah, it does have those herbs in it, but 
I feel like it's, it's de you de definitely can tell it's not meat, but it's pretty good alternative. It has a good umami flavor to it. I feel like there's m mushrooms of some sort in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's what um, I was about to say. I think the texture to me, it's very much like Vital Wheat Gluten, which I know Field Roast uses in a lot of their products. It's kind of mm -hmm. that like dense, chewy texture, mm -hmm. um, which I don't really think is too much like, it's, it's satisfying, but I don't know. Burgers aren't normally chewy, right? Like that, or are they? I don't know, I've never had a burger. <laughs> Even when you take a bite, it looks like a hamburger would. Mm. I like it. It's got a very like deep Smoky flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, it holds together way better than the veggie burgers. But when you look at it, you can see there's so many things going on. Like, what is that? There's like oats seeds or, seeds or oats? Sunflower seeds. There's like pieces of grain. Oh, barley. Mm. I think that's barley. But it, you can definitely tell this is wheat gluten. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's good. It, um, it tastes more like a sausage, like a sausage patty. Mm. So it tastes like meat. Mm -hmm. It tastes like meat. I mean, it tastes like, yeah, like if you were to uh, sausage. I don't know, wasn't that the goal? Good work, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what is, I'm just- I'd buy it again. Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy it again. I'd buy it, I don't think I'd buy it all the time, but I would eat it again. Yeah, the texture is not bad. It, it does have like more of a meatier, like spongy taste. To spongy. It. Spongy it. Yeah. is the word. I'd say it's, it's pretty good in terms of like, I don't know, in terms of meat substitute, but it's definitely satisfying and like you can you can kind of tell that there's like a mushroom like umami flavor. Would in you there. buy it again? Yeah. Um, well, if I wasn't mostly gluten free, I would probably buy it again. I I don't think I would buy it again. Uh, I think I prefer the other one more. And if I wanted Which a mushroom one? flavor, I like the garden one more. I think I would just put mushrooms on top. I of like this one more. I think I'd, I'd buy this again. Absolutely. Beef patty? Yeah. It's packaged the same way. I have no idea, but it's supposed to be. Is light. it like Bud Light? Like spelled the same? <laughs> what? Like light? Yeah, yeah, like light. light oh, so. Life. Light life. Yeah. Mm. So, like. Okay. So. I don't know. Living a light <laughs> life? What is that even supposed to mean? It looks like the oh, inside oh, of a man. hot dog. <laughs> this looks like the inside of a hot dog. Oh, yeah. Get okay. inside oh. there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what to make of this one. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it hits you right there when you do that. Light life. I've been excited to try this one because I've heard a lot about it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring Tita Cat out. <laughs> I think it has the like, uh, which one was it? The Gardein problem where it's a little too perfect. Yeah. It's looking very, it's very carved out <laughs> of something. <laughs> um, this looks like, it's scary kind of. Yeah, it's it's a little scary, scary, scary looking. Light life. The light life. This one definitely like looks meaty. Yeah, it looks like, very meaty. It's still pink in the center. You got that like burgery texture to it. I want to try it plain. The heck right. is this one? <laughs> this is light life. This one again, it looks like super smooth and like perfect. The outside looks textured, but the inside is like a puree that they cooked. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It does, doesn't look like it has texture, and it's very pink. Mm -hmm. Like maybe too pink. Uh, the texture is um, interesting. It's definitely uh, reminds me a lot of like kind of like a ground beef burger. Once you get into the not cut part, when you take a bite out of it, mm -hmm. it's a little too smooth. <laughs> it it reminds me of a hot dog. Like the inside of it, it tastes a little bit like a hot dog. I'm getting like this weird coconut taste inside the middle of it. it doesn't taste like a hot dog at all to me. Mm -mm. Whatever, it is. I wouldn't do it. Hmm. Would you give this to somebody at your barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> the texture is really good, but yeah, I don't like the flavor. I'm I don't trying like to find the, something I don't like, like the, the texture flavor. either or the flavor. Almost tastes like a turkey burger. I feel like initially it has no flavor, and I have to chew it for a little yeah, bit to get flavor. Get mm -hmm. Um, but it feels like very muted. I think like the texture is more in part with the burger. Maybe if you like like in the other ones we've tried. So I feel like if you had it in like 
this. Yeah. You might be able to like fool someone more. But, but tasting it straight up, it's not. There's like something that's like sticking to my tongue. I feel like I can't really taste it. I don't know. I can taste like the bun and the cheese. Let's try it alone. I feel like if I think about it, I can taste it. Yeah. <laughs> it has really good texture. Mm -hmm. Like it's definitely meaty. But in terms of flavor, I don't I don't know what it I can't figure it out. So the way I cooked all of these burgers is I've just straight up cooked them on the pan with nothing else. Some of them required oil, some of them didn't. This one I think I just, it needs to be grilled in this burger. Yeah, grilled definitely. Or if you put some seasoning and cook it, which we've done in the past, it's really good. I've never had it just straight up like this. Not at all. Not in this one, not this time. You wouldn't get it again? No. I just can't get down with a coconut hot dog. It's not my thing. I was right in my first assumption. It's like it's like a Bud Light to <laughs> to another to uh, Beyond, right? I'd eat it again. I would probably, if I was gonna have a party and I didn't really like the people coming, I wouldn't spend the money on like the good burgers. I would take these out, you know, and then cook my own. That's that's what I would do. Yeah. Mm -mm. This, this is a no. Easy. It's a no. <laughs> I wouldn't have this again. Yeah, and I wouldn't even give it to people at a barbecue <laughs> that I didn't like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at a loss for words. You have a little food on your one. My opinion, turkey burger of veggie burgers, if that makes sense to anybody in the world. <laughs> Would you buy this one again? Mm. We'll see as I try other ones. Okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'd get it again. I don't know if I'd get it again. Yeah. What are you looking at? Apparently it can go beyond meat, so we, we'll try that. All right, you ready? Three, two, two one. one. Oh, this oh my one God, is I can't get it in my hand. Oh, it's such a mess right now. Yeah. Oh, well. The messier the better. Let's go, uh, babe. Hold on. Check it out. All right. Dude, you're a disaster right now. Can we restart this, by the way? Dude, you're so irrelevant. Are we going to restart it? We can't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, this one is definitely thicker than the usual Beyond Meat because I've had that before. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Tomica's back. Um, these are Beyond Burgers. I don't know. What are they? Beyond Burgers. Beyond Burgers. Beyond what? Beyond Meat Burgers. <laughs> beyond the meat. Mm -hmm. Beyond right. Meat. Yes. In what a new it? dimension. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are the Doctor Strange of burgers. Um. This, these, yeah, this looks straight up like meat. It's I probably kinda, wouldn't know if that it wasn't, especially from the outside. It's kind of purple though. Beyond. Dylan's excited for this one. First try. Definitely looks You've like never meat. Never tried this, right? Never tried this. It smells different. I feel like the texture or the, yeah, the appearance, it looks very similar, but it's more of like a purplish red than the light life, which is more like pink. Too big. Jeez. Ooh, I'll take that one. Okay, the big one. So. This is the Beyond. I've, I mean, we've had this a million times, but this is their new formula patty. It is mm. so fat. Like, it's so much thicker than it used to be, and it, it's a little smaller. Texture wise, it looks, texture and like appearance, very, it looks like a very meaty. It's like a purpley color. It is. It's like gray. Yeah, like it was, like it cooked, the red cooked off a little and it turned a little gray. It used to just stay red, so I guess that's an improvement. Mm mm. Wow, this is a lot better. One of the other meat ones has some serious competition with this. I like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beet juice, I think, is in there. Oh, oh, it's ruined. <laughs> it's ruined. There's <laughs> beets in here? Let's do this. One, two, three, go. My penis has turned red. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring Chris back. Oh wow, yeah, that's really good. Oh, This is the best one by far, <laughs> I would say. It's pretty realistic, yeah. Yeah, this one has like that grilled flavor of the other veggie burgers. This has that more like hearty texture to it. Yeah, tastes like meat. Delicious, really good. I'd get this again in a heartbeat. I will get this again probably next week. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> The texture on Beyond Burgers 
Yeah, it's spot. The, spot. On. It's like the newer meaty one, and it has like bigger meat pieces. Mhm. Mm I don't know what they did, but this is delicious. Beyond definitely has a distinct flavor to it, mm -hmm. like, like the flavor will stay with you, and if you burp later, like you'll burp up the Beyond flavor. Beyond burps. Yeah, Beyond burps. But other than that, I love these. I would buy this again, like I always do. No bias, but. This is a lot meatier than it used to be. Have you had this one before? I haven't, but I would buy it again too. I would save these for myself at the party. <laughs> these would be the ones Tom would serve himself. Oh my the god! So like, two enthusiastic thumbs up. Taste, flavor, texture. Would buy again. Ain't nothing faux about that. <laughs> Except for like literally 100%. Nothing faux about the taste. The taste is great. I really enjoy it. Really good. It almost tastes better than me, actually. Yeah. This guy's own kind of thing. Yeah. I've had these before, but uh, this tastes really good. I, I would enjoy that. Send all the free samples. <laughs> I like the grilled, like smoky flavor to it, and the texture is the best out of all of them. Yeah, too. definitely agreed. I would, I would buy this one again, especially if I was impressing some, like trying to impress someone. Yeah. I would serve this one. Yeah, if you were gonna serve a vegan burger to a meat eater, like, this would definitely be the one. This is the only one I finished. I, f I didn't finish any of the other ones. I finished every single one. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yes, I would get that again. Delicious. I'd definitely get it again. Right Did you now. just hide your favorite towel? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, is it rolling? Yeah. This will be a pocket spore. In denim jackets. Maybe you can use your turtleneck to wipe your mouth. Oh, oh no, thank you. <laughs> All right, so which one's your favorite vegetable one? Mm, the favorite veggie one, I would have to go with Amy's. That was my favorite veggie, veggie no, one. No, that was the meaty one. Amy's oh, is the meaty one. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that one for the meaty one. Okay, Perfect. so you didn't like the Beyond? I did, but I also like the jerk taste of the other one better. Okay, yeah. I, I'm I gonna go, go with that. Beyond. Beyond was my favorite, okay. Mm. Back to the original question, which one's your favorite veggie one? Mm. I'm gonna say Dr. Progress for me. Progress, Pragers, Pragers, Pragers. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Good luck with that one. You don't like Dr. Pragers? No, the thought, anything that comes close to the word Prag and kids, that's a million dollars <laughs> that I don't have. No, thank you. Come on, that has nothing hmm. to do with the burger. Which one did you like? As far as like the veggie burgers, I don't know, but I remember number two being really good. Which one was that one? The second one. The crunch one? I believe yeah, it was that. Crunch. Yeah, it was a crunchy one. The one it kind of tasted like chicken? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, what was your favorite veggie burger? Not was, meaty veggie burger. The, oh, yeah, it was the, the crunch. The crunch. The crunch. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the crunch too. I like the Pragers and all, I think I feel like I'm betraying them, but the I like how crunchy the, the crunch one is and I liked the flavor, so I'm gonna It was, it tasted good. It tasted more like, um, like yeah, like yeah. you said, like a fish sandwich or something. There's such a couple thing to do to choose the same burger, because I think we're about to choose the same right. burger and again. It's also, <laughs> it's also very ballsy that they used a Q, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think that's, I think it, you know. What was your favorite way. meat burger? Meh. <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> beyond. Beyond Burger. It was Beyond. By far. Beyond all expectation. Yep. Crunch and Beyond Burger. Um, Beyond was definitely my favorite, like, overall, and of, like, the meaty textures. Um, and then the one, I can't remember which one it was, but it was the one with, like, the little, like, peas and carrots. Um, Dr. Prager's, I think. Dr. Prager's, yeah. So Dr. Prager's, if you want to go for, like, you know, more of a... Uh, more of an actual veggie burger. Like veggie burger. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised. Like, I'm not the biggest burger person, but out of trying all of those, I would actually purchase the Beyond Burger. Actually, I didn't think I like liked them very much for some reason, but after trying them all side by side, I definitely like that one the most in terms of flavor and texture. And then, honestly, I don't know. Like, I think the first veggie burger we tried, I liked the most because I ate a lot of them in college. But when it comes to like veggie based burgers, because I do a lot of cooking at home, I feel like I just prefer to make my own because I can like put exactly what I want into them and like make them taste a certain way based on what I want. Um, but yeah, I guess I'd go with the first one. But Which was? The Hillary's one. Um, 
It does, I don't know, veggie burgers are also different. Like all the ones on the market, I even know like within Hillary's, they have a ton of different flavors too. So it's hard to compare them, I guess. But I yeah. do like the Hillary's brand. So my favorite veggie burger, I think was, hmm. I'd say like, I think it was the Dr. Prager's. Yeah, my favorite veggie burger was the Hillary's. I really okay. liked the, excuse me, here he is. I really like the herbs in that patty and just the, the seasoning blend that's used, like it's just, like we were saying, it kind of tastes like Thanksgiving and I really enjoy that flavor. So I would definitely choose that one. And then in terms of meaty burgers, Beyond Meat, 100%. I'd say between the Light Life and the Beyond Meat, they're both good. All right, well, that's that. We hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys can try some of the options we tried or not, depending on I guess the review across the board from everyone in this video. It was really fun to do and we decided to have vegans and non-vegans based on your feedback and also we separated everyone into groups of two. So there were two non-vegans, there was a couple with a vegan and non-vegan and there were two vegan couples so I thought it was really interesting. Diverse yeah, very diverse. People. We didn't influence each other's. And we tried them last so we had zero influence on anybody. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he actually wasn't here for any of the other taste tests. I um, I was the one who, the proctor, is that what they call it? Like <laughs> test and stuff? I was the proctor for uh, the three other couples. Chris was doing other things with his band. So Chris has no influence from anyone else. He is just a blank. The canvas, fireside blank story blank. coming soon. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was really fun. I am really full right now. I definitely want to go take a nap. That's for sure. Let us know which burger you like the best down below or if we didn't cover any. Yeah, let us share know. recommendations. I'm sure people can go look at the comments and- I'm sure there's plenty more. we missed too because there's There are so definitely, many. I mean, I know there are definitely a lot we missed, but um, yeah, this was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing your comments, seeing you in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.